Hey everybody, um, Nova19 here, and this is my gameplay video for Endless Space. Uh, this is a sort of uh, gal galactic civilization simulator, much like galactic civilizations, but it's not quite as in depth as that game was. Uh, as you can see here, this is the uh, screen you have to uh, go through when you start a new game. Uh, you select all the preferences you want in the game. As you can see here, I created my own uh, sp uh, species called uh, the Novans, and you can select all the characteristics of that species, and you select all your competitors, uh, what type of galaxy you want, and so on. Uh, I think I chose the human race, which is the Empire, and the automatons, which is a robotic race, I think. Uh, this is how you usually start the game off in your home system, uh, Rima in this case, and you have one colony ship, and the colony ship is in charge of colonizing worlds. Now you won't be able to colonize all your worlds straight away, but instead you'll be able to colonize uh, one of the, some of the more common worlds. Uh, in this case, it is a um, let me just say, oh there you go, Tundra, which is quite a common uh, planet in this game. As you saw there, there's exploitations you can use for your planet. Uh, they, what they do is they sort of uh, determine what's the main output of that planet. You can have science, food, or um, uh, in industry. Uh, if you do industry then that means the production for that SAR system is increased. So ships and so on, they're built a lot faster than uh, they would be if the main exploitation was uh, science. But then again if you do science that means your research is uh, faster and you also uh, have better ships as well as you're able to research them a lot quicker than you would otherwise. Um, and I'm doing this narration for this video. Um, I'm doing it after I made the video. Uh, so when, I'm, when I was playing the game, it was quite a while since I've played it before. So I am um, do a lot of I do a lot of uh, aimless wandering as I try to remember how to do certain things. Um, as you see here, this is the research wheel. Uh, yeah, research wheel, that uh, you can select what research you want to pursue. Uh, there's exploration, there's um, applied sciences, there's diplomacy, and there's the military arm, which uh, is full of all the weapons and so forth. Uh, the shields and all that I think are also in the military section, I can't quite remember. But if you want the ship designs, then you go down to the bottom uh, section, which is the exploration section. And that's where you get all the bigger ship designs, like the cruiser and so on, that allow you to uh, pack more, um, what are they called, units, I think, onto the ship, like weapons and so on, and make the ship more powerful or faster or um, better defended. As you can see here, I've moved my ship to a new star system. Uh, Gaikon. I've got a little um, dialogue box saying that uh, I've discovered a new star system and my race is uh, developing and so on. Uh, this is just me trying to get to grips again with the layout. I think I'm trying to figure out how to uh, build a new ship but of course I figured out later that it's the bottom left section of that window you just saw ship is clearly displayed and I couldn't see it because I'm blind. Now as you see here, yes this is more new exploration event, but if you look at the sort of lines between each star system, you see the line going from IMAX is sort of blurry, sort of like you know, uh, intertwined, it's not as straight or as clearly defined as the other lines. And that means that that um, travel line is one way, 
so you can travel I think the enemy the other civilizations can travel to that star system but I can't travel out of it and that, uh, that gives the other civilizations a clear advantage over me as you see here this is a battle uh, pirates have jumped into my star system and my scout, I've told my scout to retreat because obviously he won't be able to stand up against two advanced um, I'm not sure what they are, cruisers I think so I've told him to retreat, which he has and successfully retreated This is just me looking throughout all the um, planets and one of the star systems I've just discovered. And as you can see, there's another one of those um, sort of star uh, lines, little lines of travel between each star system. There's another one that's similar to the one before, which means that I can't travel along that line, but the enemy can travel along that line to my star system. Uh, those are the available ship designs. As you pursue further research along the exploration tree, you will unlock bigger and better ship designs. But the setback with that is that they do take longer to make, and they um, do take up more resources. But you would also need to improve your fleet logistics, because if your fleet logistics are not improved, then you're only allowed to think two or perhaps three ships per fleet which isn't very large uh, and if the enemy have ships that are on a similar level in terms of strength to your ship and they've also increased their logistics research then you'll start to lose more battles than you win. And as you saw in that um, research tree the little icons like the uh, blue icons you saw in each uh, window, in each box, and those are uh, what, what you'd gain from that line of research, from that certain section of research, and things like that. You can also uh, they open up new options for you in the ship creation menu, because not only can you um, create ships that are predefined by the game developers, but you can also make your own. Uh, you can choose if you want a ship to have more defences or less defences, what type of weapons they want, whether a ship will um, be better in a certain close range combat or long range combat, and what defences would be better suited for that. As you see here, the, um, the little box above each star system, which says their name, and has a number of circles in them, now the red ones are planets I can't colonize, but the blue ones are planets I have colonized, and the grey ones are planets that I can uh, that I can colonize, but I haven't colonized quite yet. Um, as you can see here, uh, you can also, there's a little box at the top in the, towards the centre called uh, Hero. And what you can do is, you can hire a hero, which will be a sort of um, governor for that region. And he will also improve um, certain aspects of that region if you hire him. Um, I didn't hire any heroes uh, at the moment. But it's something you can do later on in the game when you have uh, better resources and better levels of income.
um, in the beginning of the game, you will have to uh, hit and turn quite a bit for your ships to move around. And you'll also have to build quite a few colony ships, because you'll have to colonise as much of the universe as you can. Uh, in order to expand your borders and get more resources. Because that's what the other civilizations will be doing. Uh, so you'll be hitting that end turn button quite a bit. And you'll also have to uh, select research as well. You get notified when a research, your current line of research ends. And you can choose then, you can select the next bit of research you want to find. I find, oh, and there's also what you saw there, those little um, icons of like people. They're the population of the planet. And when you increase that, the income of the planet increases as well. Because when you hover over the planet icon, it says stuff like um, two uh, points on herbs per person on the planet. Per population and as that increases the income increases as well and what you saw just earlier on was that was the ship creation menu so that is where you create your ship uh, if you want to create a new ship or change your existing ship design you would go there now my opinion of this game is it's basic it's rather enjoyable and if you if you want to play a galactic civilization game that isn't quite as in-depth or as complicated as Galactic Civilizations 2, for example, then this will be a good choice for you, because it's rather basic and rather straightforward. As you can see here, I've got um, two advanced hunter ships, two pirate ships basically, um, in my home system of Rima. And I've created a colony ship, created a fleet that consists of a colony ship, and I've told it to retreat to get out of the star system quick before it's destroyed, because they won't be able to stand up at all to two hunter ships. And I think that's going to be sent towards IMAX, or the star system in the bottom there, I can't remember the name of. Um, you can also uh, pursue research that will help with uh, system improvements. Uh, like when you click on a star system and you've got all the list of improvements in the bottom left corner, uh, you can also, some line of research also improves that as well. As you can see here, I've entered a battle. You can use battle actions, which is like little cards. You can select little cards that will increase certain aspects of the battle. Like I chose weapon overlock for long range. That improves my long range attack capability. And I chose barrier, which increases my defenses at medium range. And adaptive strategy, which increases my weapons at close range. Now, weapons like this are battles like this are displayed in 3D and they have five phases depending how long the battle lasts certain phases are skipped but you can also go uh, free camera as well so right now I am gone free camera and I'm stuck to the angle that the game wants me to view the battle at but I can also click that camera icon and go moving around as you see there, that ship was no um, challenge for these two, which I knew anyway. But I did that just so I could show you what the battle screen would look like. Uh, there you go, end turn. send that to IMAX. There you go. Now I start building defenders which are the um, militaristic ships and the only militaristic ships I really have so far as the scout isn't really built for combat it's built to uh, explore new star systems. 
know, at this point in the game, I didn't re I didn't actually realise that the only three uh, star lanes, I'll call them, leading out of my control space, I can't travel along. So I'm stuck in this section of space. I can't leave. Now I didn't realise this at this point, but I realised it later on. And what I, that, that, what that means is I can't win the game because I can't leave these six star clusters that I've colonised. But the enemy cannot enter my space, so that leaves me at a considerable disadvantage. And usually it's not a disadvantage you can play the game at. It's usually one where you quit the game in anger and you know you close it and don't play it ever again. Because this happens quite regularly to me, which is why I stopped playing it. Because I could never win. That uh, line of research, I think, uh, opens up a new level of um, a new uh, system improvement, which you can see in the bottom left corner. But the, the ship and the system. If you hit system, then that lists all the system improvements, like that continuous system improvement that's in the queue. That converts um, uh, industry, I think, to herbs or herbs, food, the industry I can't quite remember. Uh, Geo-industrial plants, that's the system, the planet exploitation, not the system exploitation, planet exploitation. There you go, um, three defenders have already been finished at Rima. Uh, that's how big the uh, galaxy type by Chores is. And there you go, the last defender has been built. So I select them all, select all the defenders, and create a fleet. Of course the hunters by this point moved away, and I didn't realise. So I create a colony fleet and send that on its way. Of course, by this point, I wasn't aware either that the hunters had moved over to IMAX because the name, that tag at the top of the star system was, I think was covering their fleet. But I think it's IMAX they moved to. When you get into this game, it's really enjoyable, but it's also really frustrating when it doesn't go your way. Because back when I first started playing it, and the star systems weren't generating with me being trapped in some corner of space, and I was actually free to roam, um, I was like, I built vast empires or whatever, but I found out that um, I think what happens with most uh, space you know, space civilization simulators, that the other races were partnering up against me and I was fighting them on both fronts which means that you're never going to win so that's like, and that happens with nearly every space uh, simulation I've played um, the only one, the only thing the space civilization game which I wasn't quite fond of was uh, Sins of a Solar Empire because that required me to do um, tasks like favours for the other races in order to gain their favour which I thought wasn't 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 fair, wasn't an easy thing to do. 
because uh, I could barely build up my fleets. But they wanted me to do their dirty work. So games like this and galactic civilizations I somewhat prefer. In a way. Because it's somewhat give and take. Like yeah, you can give them, you can give other races um, bits of technology, but they also have to give you something if you want them to. As you see here, this is more of an even fight, and I've uh, gone the free camera as well, so I'm moving around the camera as opposed to the predetermined camera angles. Uh, these are my four defenders, and I've entered the long range phase. As you can see, those two hunter ships up there from before, and they're opening fire on each other. Now, my uh, card for long range, short circuit, uh, it's called, it worked. It's held up pretty, uh, pretty well against their card because they didn't select a card. No action selected. Uh, the medium range, uh, mine has failed, and theirs. Uh, has made their attack more powerful and as you can see they've launched rockets or something and I have lost a ship but their fleet is suffering quite heavily as you can see in the bottom right uh, there are those two ships one of them is in the red one of them's gone and the other one is about to be destroyed there we go Um, it's always good to select actions at the beginning, which would enforce your ship's qualities. Like if you've got powerful short-range weapons, then you try and bolster your ship's um, uh, long-range phase. You should try and bolster their defences, same with medium. But when you get to the short-range, uh, you try and bolster their attack power, if they can survive that long. But I usually go for long range attacks because uh, the beam weapons are, I think, a bit more powerful. But then again, it depends on your preference and your fleet size and so on and so forth. Um, as you uh, carry on throughout the game with your research tree, you'll also come along line of re lines of research that allow you to colonize different planets. Um, certain planets, like the one you see here, will have resources like titanium, uh, I don't know it's called 70 or something like that, uh, which you can exploit. And I'll give you uh, extra certain type of resource that perhaps the other races don't have. What um, each star system contains is displayed above the purple tags. And like those weird symbols and purple symbols, they show what the planet has, what the star systems have. And closer inspection, like the one you saw here, all the planets lined up, they show which planet has what. And you might not be able to colonize that planet just yet. And that's what the research in different planet types helps achieve. Um, as you can see, I've just encountered the United Empire fleet. And the uh, exploitation for the Titanium 70 has finished. Um, each planet type, like Tundra or Terran, Lava, so forth, they have different perks. And by that I mean 
uh, I think Terran has better food production values and Tundra has better industrial production values. So it's also good to keep that in mind when you colonize a planet so you can get the most um, um, most use out of that planet. Otherwise its, it's qualities go to waste somewhat. Um, some planets will also have moons, as you see there, and that is also another line of technology you can unlock, because if you unlock that uh, technology, I can't remember what it's called, but you're able to survey the moon of a planet and get uh, all the information on it, and in some cases you can get certain artifacts from long lost civilizations, uh, weapons and different technology bits which you don't have to research then because you've already unlocked it which also help and they can also um, contain certain resources as well so like titanium 70 or whatever As you can see here, from me going through all the colonized star systems I have, uh, the planets I own, the population steadily increase. And um, you can also move populations from one planet to another within a star system. So if one planet becomes full, the population cap becomes full, you can also move that, some of the population points, to another planet to increase production on that planet perhaps to level it out which uh, helps in the overall production really and at the moment I'm making this narration on my phone because I uh, haven't got a headset that will work properly so if it if the quality is pretty bad, then I apologize. But I'll probably, when I get a bit more experience and a bit better at doing this, I'll probably uh, get a headset, a decent headset, that I'll be able to do uh, narrations on, probably. But yeah, when you get when you get better at this game, when you get further into it, and you start to unlock like, the cruiser class ships and the um, like battle class ships, the destroyers and whatnot, and all the um, powerful weaponry, then the space battles get really, really enjoyable. You get like a sense of good enjoyment out of each space battle when you uh, like destroy a massive fleet with your fleet. But then you also get an extreme sense of dread when you lose, because you, it, take, it took weeks to build. It takes weeks to build the um, better ships, the more powerful ones. But if you've uh, developed a star system, like I usually do, where you it's just full of industry. It's like every planet is in, you know, full of 
uh, industrial exploitations and whatnot, then that's usually the star system you use to uh, build your fleets. Like, uh, take this star system, for example. Um, this would probably be the star system that I would choose to um, make all industrial complexes at, because uh, the, the planet types are... I, th I think the planet types are all um, best suited for the industrial exploitation option. I think this is the point where I realise that uh, I can't leave these, what, f five star systems. I'm quite annoyed because I've spent half hour playing the game and I can't progress at all. But yeah, I, I realise that I haven't really done this game justice at all with this narration. But this is my first one and I hope to get better as time goes on. So uh, I do thank you all for listening. If you have, I wouldn't. I would have fallen asleep by now, probably. And I hope to talk to you again sometime. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe. Bye-bye.